Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. Here are my thrift store finds for the week. All right, so when you see my scale, you know I found some silver. All right, so here's a funny story. My thrift store pal, to say Mr. J, he texts me and shows me what he found at the Value Village just the other day. So he found a baggie that was hanging full of, um, I think they're either demi-tasse spoons or teaspoons from a set. And I counted them and there was like eight um, spoons. Well, I'm gonna put the picture that he sent me uh, into this video so you will see shortly. All right, so this is the bag of the infamous sterling spoons. And you have a full set of British Hallmarks, pretty awesome. But it's very ironic because right next to it was overpriced silver plated items. Crazy. Anyways, uh, they're marked sterling and he paid $5.99 for the whole set, which basically he, it's worth about $200 of silver you know, silver scrap value, but it is a nice usable set. So maybe he'll get a bit of a premium on top. And he told me uh, the day he found those, uh, there was an older gentleman who found some sterling platters too. And I asked them, what do you mean by platters? You mean like huge trays? You know, that's typically what I think of as platters. And he said, no, 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 no. He, when he said platters, he meant more like um, dishes, like uh, uh, candy dishes, like footed candy dishes, something like that, right? Like two of them. Well, he said a couple, so I, I'm assuming a couple is two. So funny thing was, uh, it was a store that I always frequent to find Sterling. You know, I'm pretty lucky at that store. And that day I actually was planning to pop in but I was busy and I didn't uh, go in. You know, I thought, oh, I'll go another day. Darn it, you know. Well, you know what? Sometimes it's your lucky day. Sometimes it's someone else's lucky day. So I thought, hmm, today, this is like the next day, pretty much. Uh, I thought maybe he missed something. Maybe they pulled out more stuff from the same donation you know, sometimes when they um, put out stuff, they can't put it all out, you know, like they price things and then they slowly roll it out. So I thought, you know what, maybe there might be some new stuff that was from the same donation. So he didn't confirm with me, but I went there today and look, I found this $5.99. Came with this little, I think it's for sugar, you know, for your coffee one lump or two um but i knew right away it was some type of silver because there's like a dented area right there let's look closely yeah the whole, the whole area was pushed in and i'm thinking uh usually silver plate doesn't do that because it's much stronger so I thought, just going by the, the, the design, I thought, okay, it looks um, like some type of silver, most likely, uh, at the time I was thinking most likely Italian, uh, 800 silver or European. And look, the feet are hollow. So even a better sign that it's real silver. So I looked at the spoon it came with, or the little shovel, and lo and behold, there was a mark. Let me see if I can focus in on this. All right. I believe it says 800. 800. Yeah, and then some Italian hallmarks. Is it uh -huh. It was fine the other way. So, focus, focus. All 
Right, so Italian silver hallmarks. And on the lid, I did see a mark. Identical mark. Where, where did I see it? It was somewhere around here. Always look at the edges. Sometimes they hide it very sneakily around the edges. But it has that toned silver look. And very, very tiny marks. All right, found it. Right here. See that little oval? They always like to put in this little oval. And that is upside down, of course. Of course. There you go. 800. So 80% silver. And on this one at the store, I could not find it. But I think right before I left, I found it in my car. And I knew I would... It was there, but I just couldn't see it at the time. But boom, same mark. Nifty. So, all right, so I got this set, this was nice. And I kept on looking. I thought, okay, they were so lucky that day. So if there's one, there might be two. So I looked around the knickknack knick -knack aisle. This I found in like with all the silver plated stuff. But these two were right across the knickknack aisle. And I think it was the knickknack aisle. Maybe it was the cutlery aisle. Probably the cutlery aisle. Cutlery and, you know, um, cups and saucers and whatnot. $2.99. For the pair see times two or two times and this was pretty obvious all right this is at first i thought okay it's another one of those silver plated zinc heavy thick casted pieces but when i lift it up i go ooh, good sign nice and hollow and light and underneath it says sterling bingo so that was a good find now let's weigh it out. All right, the weights. For the sterling, 85 grams. That's pretty good. So basically a buck a gram, Canadian. And for the 80 percenter, 120, let's say $110, maybe 105. So, this is pretty close to the $200 that I missed out on, 200 plus anyways. And today I also picked this up. Uh, Christian Dior, $4.75. All right, it's a little bit expensive for a brooch, but I did check the comps and it's marked right here, Christian Dior, good shape. Um, the resale comps on eBay, uh, this thing sells for about between $100 and $200 Canadian. So I thought, hmm, that's a good find. And then I picked up this for good old mom. But this is a lesson learned because I bought this for my mom. She always likes crystal and she says, pick it up if you see it. But it has to be good, like perfect. But lesson learned, when this is as is, be careful. Well, I've added up all of the things that I did not buy during the week and I've added to this video, such as this vintage unopened wax kit for your car, import car that is, probably from the early 80s or even late 70s. Here's some military webbing from the US very vintage check out that label pretty cool and here's an interesting item i was going to get it changed my mind and when i came back the next day i found out my buddy bought it and but he had to fix the broken um part inside 
oh, this is naughty. And this was very interesting, but uh, there was damage. That's why I didn't buy it. Uh, it's British art pottery, Moorcroft. And here's some vintage toys from the, I guess, early 80s, mid 80s. Unopened. Well, I mean, it's open, but the inside bags weren't opened. Here's a vintage set of walkie talkies from Radio Shack. Oh, Coin Picker Jr. likes this stuff, but he didn't want me to buy it. And this was pretty interesting. Look at that hoof. Oh, scary clowns. And there was this at uh, Game Boy Advance. Now this I did buy, so I don't know why I'm throwing it in here, just to show you guys. And this lamp was weird, sort of looks like something naughty. Um, this dish I thought was pretty neat because when you turn it over, it was actually repaired like the very old fashioned way with the metal staple. And these two plastic crows I bought for my friend. She loves crows. And this is shell art. And here is a vintage um, piggy, piggy bank, I should say. If I was a reseller, I'd probably sell that. Buy it, sell it for like 15, 20 bucks. And this was an interesting bookend or pair of bookends. And this little decanter or like your liquor bottle was pretty nifty and cheap from, well, from Limoges, France. I thought it was cool. This porcelain or ceramic elephant head was interesting. And then here's some coins at the Value Village, to like totally fake. And this glue bottle cola glue bottle here's a vintage toy from japan pretty neat missing one or two accessories and here's an asian uh pillow or neck rest or headrest or something uh this was in the display case this carved item uh some more carved items someone bought this five minutes after i took the picture it's like these asian uh buddhist statues made of wood a bunch of comic books or i guess graphic novels you could call them uh, these two were sealed in the package definitely a good resale item and here's some crystal one of the fish i found out is broken off so that's the only reason i didn't pick it up and this is an interesting dish not from this angle but from this angle isn't that funny it's a hoot and this is an interesting model, all metal. And Coin Picker Jr. needed some badminton birdies, so I picked this up for him, just to use, of course. And I thought this was funny. And what is this? It's actually a hat holder or a wig holder from like 30s or something, maybe 20s. Here's a case of um, shell displays and a tarantula in a globe. And look, a vintage mug from Star Trek New Generations. I think it's from the early 90s. Counselor Troy. Now, I would have bought it. I mean, I think they can resell for 20 bucks, but there was a tiny little scratch on it. But other than that, it was great condition. Here is a reproduction Tang Dynasty Chinese funerary item. If it was the real thing, it'd be worth like ten to twenty thousand dollars. Look at that, pretty neat though. And lastly, check out this paperweight with the Lego in it. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Coin picker out.